Hello, FBC Salinas. This is Pastor John coming to you with another edition of the Midweek Refresher video where I desire to do two things. Number one, provide you some information. And number two, provide you some inspiration in the middle of your week. Certainly hope your week is going well. It's the last week of July and it has been quite a year to this point and it is moving fast. And it's only going to get faster, I think. So anyway, a couple items of information for you. The first is this block party this Saturday. We've been talking about it for the last number of weeks. It is this Saturday from 4 to 7 p.m. First off, I want to say thank you for providing all these cake kits. The barrel is overflowing. We are grateful for that. So we're going to be able to have cake walks and cake walks and more cake walks. It's fantastic. We have the arrangements finalized with the food truck. That's going to be a fantastic thing. We do have have karaoke that'll be great so bring your friends so that they can hear you sing some karaoke we have the inflatable jump house with the slide that's gonna be fantastic we have people telling us that they're gonna do they're gonna make some homemade salsa so you can be here and try that we have games interactive games we have homemade ice cream coming your way made by the one and only Don Cranford we have so much going on it is going to be fantastic please invite your neighbors your co-workers your friends we look forward to what's going to happen at this particular event and all we need is your prayers we need your support we need you to volunteer and we thank you to those who have said yes to volunteering we're going to have a wonderful time. And so it's this Saturday from 4 to 7 p.m. here in the parking lot. Looking forward to that. So that's that information. Second bit of information is that this Sunday is Name Tag Sunday. What do we mean by Name Tag Sunday? It's pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? You show up here at the, at the church on, on property and we will give you a name tag. You put your name on it. And that way other people can know what your name is and they can put a name to the face. We have different folks that have been coming here for the last number of months that are new, that don't know everybody's name. And, and I don't know everybody's name either, believe it or not. And so we'll have Name Tech Sunday. Great way to interact with one another and we'll get to see God do use this event, I think, to help build a bigger and better uh, community here. I realize simply knowing a name doesn't make community happen instantly. I realize that, but it is it does help. It does help rather than saying, hey, how are you? You can say, hey, how are you, John? And that works a lot better, all right? So it's Name Tag Sunday this Sunday. We invite you to be a part of that, all right? So that's it for the announcements. Last thing is this, is that we enter into the last, the last week of July, and it's the last week that we're looking at the, this wonderful book of Hebrews. I've told you this repeatedly. Hebrews is my favorite book of the Bible, and we wrap up with Hebrews chapter 13, which is a bunch of short commandments. And so it's a little bit choppy, and that's the way life is sometimes. Life is choppy an awful lot of the time, but we're looking for little things that we can grab hold of. Well, this Sunday, we're going to take a look at these different commandments, and there's going to be times when this particular commandment makes a lot of sense because we're going through something, and, and I encourage you to come in with an attitude of, Lord, what is it that you have for me in this wonderful last chapter of Hebrews? Of course, I, I want all of us to come into any time that we come into God's word, asking that question, Lord, what do you have in here that I need to know? How do I get to know you better? How do I understand better how to live my life? And the writer of Hebrews wraps up this wonderful book with these words in Hebrews chapter 13, starting at verse 20. He says this, now may the God of peace you need to remember that our God is a God of peace in this world that has all this chaos. He's the God of peace. May the God of peace who through the blood of the eternal covenant, interesting eternal covenant. He's the one that made the covenant and because he made the covenant, it's an eternal covenant, meaning that it is forever and ever. Amen. He's the one who made that covenant. Now through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead, our Lord Jesus. The emphasis on the resurrection of Jesus Christ. We say this every week that he is risen. He is risen indeed. And that gives us hope all the time, doesn't it? That great shepherd of the sheep. 
this great shepherd of the sheep. He cares for us. Yes, we're sheep who have all gone astray, yet we have a shepherd who goes looking for us, goes after us and says, I love you, I care for you. May he equip you with everything good for doing his will. Let this sink in. He desires you and me to do his will. He could do this on his own, yet he says, I'm going to equip you to do it. That's awesome. And may he work in us what is pleasing to him. The reality is this, that what's pleasing to him is pleasing for life. It's pleasing for all. And it's always, always the best. Through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. We do this not for ourselves. We do this for the glory of Jesus Christ. It is my prayer as we wrap up this series in Hebrews that we would go to the one. We would go to the one who equips us and takes care of us and gives us peace. He gives us hope. And he does what is best for us all the time. So again, here are these words. Now may the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, equip you with everything good for doing his will. And may he work in us what is pleasing to him through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. Have a great rest of the day, a great rest of the week, and thank you for how you're allowing God to use you. God bless. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.